G'day and welcome to Shit Hotels of Australia. Well, if you watched the prologue, you would have found out about uh, this place where I'm currently living and all the reasons why sometimes I get a better night's sleep in a hotel. So first we're going to get on the road and we're going to check out our first hotel, the Kalua Motel in Bundaberg. Now I admit I didn't shoot this intro outside the, uh, the um, hotel in Bundaberg because it looked straight into the reception and I didn't want to intimidate the, uh, the receptionist who was most likely the owner as well because these people run these establishments in good faith and just because they may not be very good uh, is no need to uh, humiliate them personally. So uh, let's uh, sit back and uh, have a look and see whether the Kalua Hotel uh, is shit or not. So this is the luxury appointed room inside uh, the Kalua Motel. You can hear the uh, ambience of the bogans and their cars outside. And uh, let's take a look around. So we've got a single bed. We have a queen's bed. We have aircon, although today in Bundaberg it's only about 23 degrees. Microwave. Basic TV, fridge, sink, and we move into the bathroom toilet. Here's the toilet. Arm rail for those less mobile or those a bit pissed. And shower. Uh, no toiletries provided in this hotel, so bring your own. And outside is a pool that I don't think I'd be getting into. So let's look at some of the other little touches in there. In room two at the Kalua Motel, um, you don't get any milk with it. Um, behind me here, we see the lovely curtains and uh, over here I, I will apologize they um, do have toiletries condiments to condiments and uh, now I look a little bit at the kitchen cutlery drawer mm, tad grotty Has a toaster, plates neatly stacked. Not sure how clean those glasses are. Nice rubbish bin. Through to the wardrobe. Motley collection of coat hangers. And the spare pillow that Mm, I might think twice about using. The chairs are plastic and not particularly comfortable, but they're sturdy and uh, they provide a bit of support. But then you've got to love the spelling on a good motel sign and the grammar. We welcome you to our motel and we would appreciate very much so if you would respect our property. When leaving the room, if you wouldn't mind, turn off all electrical, lights, fans, air condition. Our rooms all non-smoking rooms. If you need to smoke, you have to be five metres away from the door by law. There will be a charge if anyone is caught, C-O-U-R-T, smoking in the room. We hope that you have enjoyed your stay and will return sometime soon. Maybe not. Now we'll check and one of the irritation factors, apart from the noise of the cars outside, the noise from the fridge inside. This one's not particularly loud, but it is constant.
And first, what will be an indication of how readily they check the rooms, we'll do the instant coffee check. Now firstly, international roast, I don't think so, but let's just check the expiry date. February 2024. That's a tick. Well done, good Lord Hotel. So, let's check out the TV. Hmm. Doesn't seem to work. I wonder why that is. Maybe it's because they've even put a handy little suggestion on the bottom of the remote. It says, if I'm not working, try something, something blurred, something, the screen right hand corner. Nicer than to put the note that it might not be working. It might have been actually nicer to fix it. So this is the hotel from the outside. Conveniently located next to the very busy main road entering Bundaberg. And uh, a luxury bustling suburb. And, and now I'm going to find something to eat. Well, while the uh, actual large TV might not be working, the Wi-Fi is at least good enough to stream the ABC Live. And food for today, I think I've found the best fish and chips that I've had so far in Queensland. Andy's Fish and Chip Cafe, just down up the road here, Queen Street, Bundaberg. Bit of Red Emperor, some lovely chips. It is seriously good, almost as good as home in Tassie. This is the view from the Lou. And it's a little horrifying, to be frank, because if you look carefully there, the metal frame of the doorway is rusting away, and there's a large mouldy patch near where the sliding door starts. And then if you look into the shower bay, that doesn't look all that pretty either. Oh well. Next we might have a look at a bit of a workplace health and safety risk. Let's have a look at the fan behind me. And here's that fan now that it's stopped. Anyone see any potential safety risk? So one of the parameters we're looking at with the, uh, the shit hotels of Australia is um, the serenity. So let's see if we can hear anything. Yep, that's from the room next door. Straight through the wall. Nice one. Well, it's a bit hard to pick up the full details of the story going on in the room next door, but um, we do know that the, uh, the woman in there has a bit of a problem with the blood tests and perhaps it could actually be a cancer scare. But I'm really a little bit too embarrassed to actually have to hear everything that's going on. I don't need to hear this woman's uh, intimate details of her life. I don't need to hear whether her family has got uh, life and death issues, but uh, shit hotels in Australia, this might be one. And uh, sorry if you're struggling to hear me over the sound of the traffic outside this uh, luxurious hotel here in Bundaberg but the point that I want to actually uh, consider tonight is the noise through the wall now the party through the wall tonight has been talking non-stop about highly personal issues such as blood tests and cancer issues and it's been actually really confronting to hear what she has to say but it's not so much the issue of how impervious the walls are or the opposite to sound but to how much the people who occupy these shit hotels in Australia ignore that and so can speak quite so loudly that they can absolutely ignore 
the fact that the people who they don't know living right beside them can hear every intimate word of what they're saying. And even more to the point, they don't care about the impact that they have upon those people in those rooms beside them. Because you can say something like this, Oi! Can you please be quiet? It's past 10 o'clock. I'm about to go to bed. And no response. So, shit hotels in Australia. This is you. So it's morning now, and time to judge the quality of the sleep. <clears throat> well, one thing you notice from the bed behind is that there's no blankets. And whilst this is Queensland, and we are coming into summer, it was only 14 degrees in Bundaberg last night, and uh, a sheet is not enough. No blankets in the cupboards, nothing. Fortunately, the aircon was reverse cycle, so I could actually put it on to heat the room to keep warm. So to sum up my experience of the Kalua Motel, <coughs> I've invented something that I'd like to call the Pirate School. Sorry, Jeb Brooks, I've ripped it off from you. So let's say, uh, see, firstly, we'll rate it on cleanliness and upkeep. And unfortunately, I can only give it a two for that. Facilities, I've had all the basics, so let's give it a three. And, uh, let's rate it on add-ons, like restaurants, pools and everything like that. And had no restaurant, and frankly, that pool, you wouldn't put your dog in it. Zero. And uh, entertainment and Wi-Fi. Well, TV had an issue. The Wi-Fi worked, it was a bit slow, so two. The bed and bath. Well, the bed was good. It was comfortable. It had a really good night's um, comfortable sleep. But the lack of uh, towels, the I mean, lack of um, blankets, mm. And the bathroom, well, sorry, I can only give that one two. So, but then there's the bonus. Did I get a better night's sleep than I would get at home? Well, unfortunately, for this first motel, motel, no, I didn't. No bonus. Sorry, Kalua, that's for you a score of nine out of 20. So, that's the Kalua Motel in Bundaberg. And I think we can all agree that it's pretty much shit. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the like button and consider subscribing to this channel. And uh, stay tuned for the next hotel, which hopefully won't be one of the shit hotels of Australia. Thanks for watching. See you in the room.